you know, you, you want to spur growth through affordable housing. And, and, and I wanted, if you can give me some time to explain this clearly, that the idea here is double pronged. One, let's get this pool of resources that can be tapped upon for housing. And then two, structure the housing program in a manner, housing construction program in a manner that creates jobs. What we've been presented with in Parliament and as a policy proposal uh -huh. is a whole chain-based program that starts from training artisans, guys who do the windows and, and, and the doors and, and, and the hinges and, and, and the padlocks and, and all this, mm -hmm. that construction of housing from this fund would be handled that way, that we want a pool of resources that we can say we're going to do, do housing, but that would spur growth of jobs and employment at the level of artisanry. Now, this for me is not a mandatory thing. It's a proposal that's being made by government that this is how we wish to raise resources for housing. Okay. Number two, the gentleman there who spoke, by the way, may have said something that is, that, that is laughable, but it's really what it is. The Honorable Olwoch talks about debt. How do you freeze debt? How do you reduce debt? And I believe that having a fund like the housing fund is going to help this country reduce external debt. Because if you're able to, if you agree on whatever percentage you agree on, 2%, 3%, and there's a pool of resources, when, when the housing fund doesn't need it, we can borrow from there for the rest of what you want to do as a country. Let, let's not shy away from saving some of these things. This is what, part, part of what we want to do. Part of the money is we want to raise through NSSF and this housing fund is to enable us to have a pool, get a culture of saving and borrowing within the country. This has to be understood <laughs> very well. It's just not housing per se, but it's also having a pool of resources available to, to be borrowed from by government with a return at the end of the day. And, and what, what, what I probably think we need to have in the laws is what, what kind of return should we expect, not just say the return on the fund. We should not say what percentages are we looking at. Number three is what I said when we started. At some level, Kenyans who earn well must be willing to support Kenyans who don't earn well. Those of us who have houses and who don't need or who don't qualify for this housing should be willing to fund the construction and the growth of affordable, decent housing for those who can't afford it. This is the idea. So, so that we, is it How a, do you express well, willingness in a finance bill? Through representation, members of parliament. It's as simple as that. Members of parliament will sit and agree that as we believe we want to commit our constituents on this. It's as simple as that, Sam. And if the idea is to create this pool of resources where the government can borrow, why not say it? Because now you, you put it mandatory, you're even forcing employers to contribute. That's an additional cost on the, employ on the employees. You, you know the reason of law normally, Sam, is to compel. If, if we ask you today to pay pay, if you were asked, you know, would, are you willing to pay? Many, everyone will say they won't pay. And so part of the reason laws are made is to compel. If you give somebody a, a, a choice on this kind of a matter, and, and you know, the, the, the point is this. Part of how where you go to elections is to elect a government which comes to government with a proposal or, or a plan or a policy statement or whatever it is that you want to call a manifesto. It sells that manifesto. If it's able to get the manifesto going through, it governs using that manifesto. And, and that's why I can't emphasize this more. Where a finance bill is concerned, in my opinion, it's about all those of us who are here today representing our constituents and feeling their pulse. Is this, this something that, that they're going to, is this something that appeal that they can swallow or not? Personally, I believe that we must get a culture of saving in this country. We must get a culture of ensuring that we have resources within the country to avoid what we are facing now. Part of why, for example, salaries are not being paid on time is that we are paying debt, huge debt. There's a time when the euro bond became, became due last, last month. You saw, even as in Parliament, we see our salaries th three, four, five days later. Reason is that we're not able to raise monies locally to deal with our things. We are not living within our means. And somehow we must be found to ensure that we live within our means.